Hi guys, it's Silmelsi here, so welcome to another part of my renovating base game series. This is a series where I am renovating the base game builds using only base game. So this is a completely base game only build and I am so excited to be sharing another part of it because I recently renovated Johnny Zest's house and before that it had been a long time since I had another part of this series. So yeah, I'm really excited to have another one out so quickly and hopefully you guys are excited as well. As you can probably tell, I'm renovating Riverside Roost, which is this Willow Creek home right next to the Pancakes house. And you can see the Pancakes renovation right next door. And I really love the way their house turned out. I think it's so cute and honestly way better than when I've renovated it in the past because I have renovated uh, that one before and this one before as part of my renovating EA series, which was a renovation series where I was renovating EA made homes but using all of the packs in <laughs> this time of course it's only base game and i'm just completely thrilled with the way this one turned out like i said i renovated it before and i really i still really like that renovation because i think it's so cute and like i love the family that lives there it's in uh, my save file in case you guys maybe have my save file and you haven't checked out the home i definitely recommend it because i think it's just so so cute and i made it like a giant family home with lots of bedrooms and a big family living there and completely changed up the floor plan and all that kind of stuff. This time I decided to keep it mostly mostly the same. I really wanted to switch up the staircase but I would have had to redo the floor plan to make it the way I wanted to and so I just decided to leave it even though I do fiddle around with it for quite some time. The kitchen is still in the same location but I do open it up to the rest of the living area because I just felt like that made more sense and just looked a little bit better. Even though I do like the original kitchen, there's something about it that's kind of charming. It's very bare bones but I like the simplicity of it and like the blue color and I just think it's kind of charming in its own way. I don't know, let me know if you guys agree. But yeah, I opened it up and then I also made the build a lot shorter <laughs> because the original house was a lot longer and I felt like it was so awkward, especially in, well, the way it looked from the exterior, but also just like the floor plan for the living area. It just was way too big of a room, especially for only using base game furniture and I don't know, I just did not like it. So I made the house a lot shorter and I think that makes a lot more sense and it just feels a little bit more cozier and super cute. So yeah, hopefully you guys are going to like this renovation as much as I do. And I was also trying to think of the Sims that live in this home. Originally it looked like it was decorated for one or two adults and maybe a teenager I think. It didn't really look like a child's room but it definitely looked like a teen or very young adult's room. And so I decided to continue with that theme. I think this would be the perfect home for an uncle who loves fishing and the outdoors and really keeping to themselves but they found themselves taking care of their nephew and so their nephew moved in with them and they live here together and his world has been completely turned upside down well probably both of theirs because i don't really know the reason why the nephew had to move in here but i really like that story and i really don't do enough builds i think for children living with their aunt or uncle and so i liked bringing that into this house of course it would be easy to you know change that up and have any family that you see living here and honestly the teenager's room is ginormous and <laughs> could easily be split into like two bedrooms no problem and yeah you would have plenty of room for both of them so you could have a larger family here too and they could have separate rooms if you really wanted to um yeah i also switched up a lot of the windows and changed the color of them i ended up going for a very brown color scheme in here with little hints of like greens and whites and stuff and i really really like it i think it's a very um very cohesive originally the interior was not very cohesive it was kind of quirky and a little bit mismatched which is pretty typical I think for like EA interiors <laughs> that's very common um, back here leading to the side door I wanted to create like a laundry room area but then I decided that wasn't very like useful <laughs> for like a base game home even though it looked cute um, I decided to make this area a bit more functional so it's more of like a woodworking area <laughs> which I don't know if you would typically have this inside but I think the sim that lives here definitely would because they really like woodworking they really like fishing and they need lots of space to store their fishing gear their woodworking supplies and probably camping gear and all that kind of stuff and they don't have a garage or a shed to store it in so yeah I think this is the perfect spot for it and I think it looks really cute and 
I don't know, I really like that area. And then down here is of course the downstairs bathroom. I left it pretty, pretty much the same, like the placement of the sink and the toilet. I just swapped them out for different options. And I think I left the shower exactly the same. <laughs> I think, I think it was. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I think it looks really nice. I do end up adding a toothbrush on the sink later on when I go to uh, decorate the second bathroom. And I thought it was nice having a single toothbrush in this bathroom and then I also put a single toothbrush in the other bathroom because there's only one sim in each of the bathrooms <laughs> that need a toothbrush. I know that's kind of a silly thing, but I mentioned this recently. Every time that I place that toothbrush container from base game that has like five different toothbrushes in it and like a thing of toothpaste, I always feel silly when it's for a single sim because they don't need that many toothbrushes. But there is a debug one that you can place just for like a single toothbrush and so I really like doing that but anyways this is going to be the teenagers room so yeah I think they recently moved into their uncle's house so I didn't add like a bunch of personal decorations but I do add like a few things here and there for a teenager some posters and a few things that I think kind of show their personality I mean I wasn't really trying to focus too much on it I imagined that a lot of this stuff was left over from like the way the uncle had it decorated before he moved in and so there's like some fishing stuff around and those sorts of things but then i do add some like boxing gloves and some posters so i think this teenager's really into like sports and fitness and boxing i also gave them a punching bag which i thought was pretty cool and a fishbowl <laughs> and so um yeah it's pretty simply decorated like i said but i think it actually looks really cute and there's a computer down here i do imagine this was more of like maybe the uncle's like office space or something before the teen moved in. And of course he left the computer in there, but of course then gave the teenager their own space. So I don't know, maybe that's the teenager's computer. I'm not exactly sure. Let me know if you guys have any ideas, but here I'm moving on to the second floor, just fiddling around with the windows, making sure they're placed where I want them to be placed and making sure that I think they look good. I don't know, I actually really like using this brown swatch for the windows. I'm not sure if I've ever used it before. I think I've used it with the white window frames and then that same brown for the shutters, but never the entire window. And I actually thought it was really cute. So yeah, I'm happy that I did that. Over here is going to be the uncle's bathroom. So I completely switched it up, adding a different shower in here, some counter space for the sink and everything, the same toilet that I used downstairs, and then just a little bit of decorations. I'm really trying to keep these renovations very simply decorated and not overly cluttered. Oh, here I'm adding the toothbrush <laughs> like I was talking about. I just really like that detail, I think it's so cute. But yeah, I really am trying to keep these more lighter on the decorations. That way, if you only have base game and maybe a lower end computer, it would be a little bit easier for you to use these builds. And then you could easily add more depending on the packs that you have or your computer's capability or if you use custom content or those sorts of things then you have you know the options and freedom to do so of course um here i did switch up the windows on the front a little bit because the placement of them was not great for the staircase it was kind of awkward there was like this um like space right to the uh, left of the staircase when you get to the top of it but i don't know if it was there originally i didn't really pay attention maybe it was maybe it just had that awkward space originally or did I make the staircase smaller? I can't remember, I'll have to check. But anyways, over here is going to be the uncle's room. I really love the way this room turned out. I feel like it has so much personality for a Sim who loves fishing because there are just so many fish plaques. Of course, there are a few downstairs, but in here I also added some frogs that he's collected and takes care of. I do imagine that these are his you know, very dear pets. Maybe he even has a dog. If you have cats and dogs, I could definitely see a Sim uh, with this sort of personality really enjoying having a dog as well but since it's base game his only pets are frogs <laughs> and uh, maybe he has a cow plant i didn't plant one but that's a possibility too um and then over here i'm making a closet i've been completely obsessed with making walk-in closets recently i think they look so good whether i'm using these base game hanging clothes and shoes or dream home decorator or custom content i've been doing a lot of walk-in closets on my custom content channel in case you guys haven't seen it it's called simlessly with cc and i'm just absolutely loving building with custom content over there and i actually think it's making me better at decorating without custom content i don't know if you guys agree but i feel like i've been 
really enjoying not using custom content. I thought that it would have the opposite effect on me. I thought that once I started using it, I would only be able to decorate with custom content, but recently I've been feeling more inspired to decorate without it instead of the other way around. So I think that's kind of interesting, even though I'm still completely really enjoying that. But it's kind of an interesting thing. But anyways, um, here on the exterior, I did change up the color. And I actually really liked the landscaping originally, how uh, there was this stone path, but also the same terrain paint to make it look a little bit blended into the grass. And I also liked the way the plants and stuff were placed. I didn't place them back how they were originally, but I did some similarities. And I think a little bit more of a simplistic landscaping style than I would normally do. And so I do like that and I think it um, blends into the world really nicely. I also fenced in a little bit of a yard area and over here I put some trash cans. Um, I also put an outdoor dining table, a barbecue, and some planter boxes and just a few simple things just to make the area a little bit more functional and interesting I think for your sims to use and then there I did place a chess table on the front porch which I thought was nice and on the uh, side porch and the balcony I ended up just placing a little bit of like a seating area and I think one planter pot on the top one if I remember correctly and so you could easily add more decorations but I felt like it looked better just nice and simply decorated here I had like a ton of planter boxes and pots um, but I felt like it looked a little bit too crazy so I do simplify it here in just a moment um, but right now I'm just picking out an outdoor dining table I used this one because I really like the tablecloth and then I also put a plant on it <laughs> and then um, yeah here I was trying out a few I don't know different things with terrain paint and I really didn't like the way that was looking with the stone pass, so I got rid of it. And then here I'm just adding some greenery and some flowers. And yeah, like I said, it's just pretty simply landscaped, but I think it looks nice. And yeah, I don't know. I think it looks super cute. I'm hoping you guys are going to like uh, this build as much as I do. I really like the way it turned out. I'm honestly loving like renovating with only base game. <laughs> Something about keeping it more simple. I just really like it. And some of these renovations I like better than the like the first time I renovated these builds using all of the pack, which surprises me a lot, but um, it's true. Anyways, here I'm just adding the final few decorations to the porches, and yeah, this is basically it for the build. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and I hope you guys do enjoy the screenshots. So thank you so much for watching, and please leave any comments or suggestions you have, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! Wish I could solve your problem Stuck on my wall like neon paint Things and I'm so tired of being honest To everyone but myself I do it so well We were so good at flying But we can't keep flying We keep getting stuck On the wrong side of the mountain We were so good at trying But we can't keep trying Cause we only end up On the wrong side of the mountain and lies we were so good at flying but we can't keep flying we keep getting stuck on the wrong side of the mountain we were so good at trying but we can keep trying because we only end up on the wrong side of the Stuck on the wrong side
life in boxes Erasing the memory so you won't notice I'm taking the time to fall 